Swag, why are you muted? Um, I'm unmuted. I'm unmuted right now. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Yeah, now that you're unmuted, we gotta know about this fit, bro. <laughs> that was one bad fit, man. Can we, can we just go to the intro, please? Yeah. Okay. All <laughs> right, let's get to the intro. All and right. Don't, and don't edit this out. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> I hate y'all so much. Welcome. This reminds me of the Frosty all over again. <laughs> You're going to get a Frosty, I'll fill it myself. Hey, oh, my God. Once, once again, guys, the nearest Frosty, the nearest Wendy's is 45 minutes away from me. I need... My, my, I need to fill my quota for the month of frost. You need nothing. Not, hey, it's cold <laughs> outside already. Like, <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to yet another episode of the R slash Rap Battles podcast. I'm your host, Hula. We've got a fantastic panel for you today. Let's hop into it. Sauce, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I like how every podcast I'm in, I'm, I'm the first introduced. I feel with it. You got the hey, top man. of the list. Yeah, I don't know, I fuck. Mean, <laughs> and returning for our episode today, we've got Hot Take Royalty. Hey, how's it going? It's going, it's going. How are you? Uh, you know, I would be doing better if Cyberpunk wasn't trash, but you know what? We, we'll get past it. Fair. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, Hot Take. Beggars can't I mean, I, pay, I paid, paid for it. it. I'm not paid better. for it. All right, and then we've got Yusuf as well. Yusuf, how are you? I'm great, beloved. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Let's see if we can get Swag on here. Swag, we still can't hear you. Is your microphone maybe perhaps pulled up, like in the silence? <laughs> I'm looking forward to arguing with Swag today. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll if we get him on the pod. Don't edit this out. Edit this out. Don't listen to them. No, I'm going to edit this. I mean, I, I have to edit this out, but come on, Swaggy. Yo. I'm okay, you know what? No, I changed my mind. We got to edit it out now. Just oh, for that. I called him. Swaggy O. Hello, 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 hello. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Took you long enough. And we've got Swag on the podcast. How are you, Swag? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. My apologies. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Now, let's waste no more time. As the title of this episode suggests, we're going to hop into our awards for the end of 2020. We've got a whole lot in store. Gentlemen, where should we start? Should we start with our most improved? Yeah, I'm done with that. All right, let's start with our most improved battler of the year. So again, this uh, indicates the uh, total amount of progression. Y'all know what improved means. I mean, shoot, let's just jump into it. Um, Hot take: Who do you have for a nominee that could be considered for most improved battler of the year? Who do you have in mind? Um, well, my uh, my notes are very sparse on this one, but. Uh, the only the only name I actually had in here was uh, Hayes the Family Man. Who oh. the? F oh, hey, hey, that's actually a good choice. So you, just, no, you, you said it was like who the? Fuck? That's messed up, bro. <laughs> no. Well, so well, for what it's worth, uh, Hayes the Family Man, as uh, most people know, uh, used to be Saya Boy. Uh, he was like a he was one of the uh, like upper mid tier like lower top tier battlers at the time. And then he uh, disappeared off the face of the planet and came back this year for the KOTD tournament. And he's he was good, like he was really good. Yeah, he. Uh, I mean, I think he probably has. Uh, I guess my spot for most most improved, just off of the principle of like he's not battled in a long time. Then he came back and was like fire. Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, uh -huh. Sauce, who do you have? Uh, let me let me see who I put down. So I put actually I put it on another tournament guy, but this is from the Ultimate Madness tournament. I put Holmes the God. Mm. I think Holmes like my last battle I seen Holmes in was him getting his ass kicked by Moon, and so he had from Moon, which was in I believe twenty seventeen. And then he showed up against Ace earlier this year. And I have not seen that battle, so I can't tell you how that battle went. From Ace to this tournament, and he beats Saga, who admittedly was joking. He beat EK, Danny, and Bill to become, you know, the Ultimate Madness 2 winner. And while he might have been 30 by BDOT later in on the uh, anniversary event, I think that... 
Holmesy. I think a lot of people would have been thirty by that beat up that showed up at that anniversary event. And home, I don't think Holmesy was bad, all things considered. So I, I, I'd give the nod to Holmesy. Uh, honorable mention to like, a, a, honorable mention to Hayes, and honorable mention to uh, let me double check. Honorable mention to Nun Nun, as well, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Holmesy the God is also my pick as well, just with his resume on Ultimate Madness Two, coming in primarily as the underdog in most of those battles. I think each one of those rounds. Uh, that he battled in, I think I came in and I was like, man, I don't know if Holmes is going to do it. I don't know if Holmes is going to do it. And I remember thinking, okay, Saga, you just recently had an embarrassing performance on on Gnome, right, with his yeah. choke. So I thought, okay, yeah. he's going to battle back. He's been talking his shit. He's going to annihilate Holmesy. I think he's going to do well. But in fact, Holmesy just kept getting better and better and better throughout the year. And then, like you said, it, it culminated in a fire performance against BDOT, even though, again, BDOT um, had a remarkable year and, and was fantastic throughout, and it was, you know, essentially BDOT. Holmesy still had a lot of improvement throughout most of the year. So Holmesy the God is also my pick. I'd also like to shout out uh, Nun Nun and Emerson Kennedy as well, because Emerson, I think, is starting to capitalize a little bit on his previous performances, had a lot of really good uh, rooftop battles and a couple of good performances on the tournament as well. Swag, who do you have? Mike P. And um, so it's it's weird having Mike P because I feel like Mike P's been doing this. Like, like he's been definitely showing up every opportunity he got. But the fact that he went from please get me on the main stage to starting the year off with quite possibly round of the year quite possibly one of the greatest rounds of all time. And I, I don't think I'm stretching to say that either. But, like, to go from, like, to, like, trying to get on the main stage to, like, being up there with one of the greatest rounds of all time, and along at, as well as his performance on Gnome X being very impressive. And, of course, we um, what happened within the Ultimate Madness tournament was quite um, eventful. <laughs> Arsenal oh, versus Mike P, man. <laughs> nah, stop it. Don't ever do that to him. That's me. This is a narrative we're going to continue to push on this yeah. podcast. Arsenal <laughs> yes, sir. versus Mike P. But uh, yeah. as I was about to say, um, so basically, like, like even though the ultimate man, this thing, like, it ended bad for him, I still feel like he kind of, like, other than that, he kind of proved that, like, yo, he's going to be here. Like, he's one of, like, he's one of them ones can't say one of the niggas white but like he one of the ones um yeah i see i really do see your point swag i think uh you know we've been kind of harping on mike p's talent for for many years at this point um and even though it ended his little mini run that he had this year ended at bill collector like even though like yeah, well, of course, but let's let's think about let's think about this, right? During the ride around, he still won that ride battle, and he he held his cool for the for the most part, I think. Yeah, and he held his cool until afterwards. Yeah, and he had a I think he had a, he had a great year throughout. Um, I really like that pick, Yusuf. What do you have? All right, so <clears throat> so my pick is. Nun Nun for comeback of the year. The last battle I was most taken from Nun Nun was um was Jack Boy Main. And I haven't seen that battle, but I did see the interview after it with 50 Minutes of Fame. Of, like, not only is everybody saying that that's a body bag, but Nun Nun was openly like, I don't want to be in battle rap anymore after that battle. Uh, for him to come from that to, you know, last minute replacement for, you know, be magic in this tournament and then show out like he did against, you know, Loso and Mr. Wavy. No, nah, I'm really impressed by him, so I got him as um as most improved. Yeah, sure. So we've got um uh Hayes the Family Man was Hot Take Realty's pick. Sauce and I both had Holmesy the God. Swag went with Mike P and then Yusuf went with Nunun. And again, Nunun had a had a fantastic year. I didn't even know that. Uh, I didn't even know uh that he was considering that and you know oh, yeah, see yeah, yeah. behind this year. <laughs> and he, yeah, that, that... Oh, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. No, I mean, I was gonna. I mean, I did see the Jack Boy main battle, and oh boy, Jack Boy. Yeah, I was gonna talk Jack, about that. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Black would get dirty. Mike P. Hadouken with a blue fist because I'm a little Richie. A wop, wop, a loop, wop, wop, pet. What? Yeah. Yeah, he got smoked. God damn it. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, going from that, and I, again, I saw that body bag, and I thought, man, none, none, I don't, I don't think none, none really has a career in battle rap. And then he has, again, a great showing at Ultimate Madness. And then he also really showed out uh, against Suge uh, yeah. a few, a few, what was it, last month, last born week? Born like a few weeks nine, ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so last month, last <laughs> yeah, Borlegan last month, yeah, Borlegan yeah, Borlegan. somewhere in that time frame, but yeah, shout outs to Nunan as well. Sauce, what were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna talk about how fucking Jack Boy dog walked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're so messed yeah. up. We talk about his successes, like, why you gotta bring up his failures? Hey, man, I'm a nigga. Well, I mean, we're, we are, we're talking about we're setting that as a standing, as a starting point, and then seeing how far. Uh, he's come since then. Yeah, he got uh, he, he got a, he got a, he got a mention on our slash podcast, so he's winning. Right yeah, now. yeah, he's I doing mean, the, he's doing great right now. The the pinnacle of success, right? No, yeah. let's let's keep moving forward. Uh, <laughs> let's go next to let's go next to our comeback rapper of the year. Oh, this um, one easy. Yeah. Okay. Wait, swag. wait, hold on. I just want to. I had to clarify this because I don't I don't know what the difference is between most improved and comeback battler. It's like so, people who were away for a while and came back. Yeah, I think Hayes could have yeah. fallen in this podcast. Hayes could fall in this as well. This yeah, also confused me. Okay, that's know. fair. So the way that I sort of looked at these categories, and again, feel free to um, feel free to uh, apply your own definition to these. But uh, I saw most improved as a steady trajectory of getting better throughout the year. The comeback rapper of the year. I thought I viewed that as more as like, okay, they sort of got wiped out one way or another, or they left. Um, and then they ultimately came back and then um, had a, they had a bad point or they left and then they came back and, and shine. That's kind of, that, that's sort of the difference that, that I considered. I guess. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Um, so uh, I'll start off. I have my comeback rapper of the year. I'm going to go with Daylight. I think there were so many questions surrounding his return, whether or not he'd take it seriously, how he would succeed in a small room, um, you know, that sort of thing, how he would do against Rock, who is a perennial fan favorite, you know, and he came in and he had a top tier performance of the year, in my opinion. And, you know, I think we all agreed that, well, maybe not swag, but we, <laughs> we you know, we all agreed that Daylight Daylight was untouchable that battle, really. He was. Um, he was. I believe that. So, so that's that's where my pick. We'll start with Yusuf. We'll go backwards this time. Yusuf, who is your comeback rapper of the year? So, you know, I think that it has to be Daylight, but I don't want to be an echo chamber. I'm going to have a different. Um, oh, you can. You can. Nah, nah. I'm going to go. Over. I'm going to go Murder Mook uh, as comeback battle yeah. of the year. We haven't seen him in a one on one battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not gonna hear any mook slander. I'm sorry. Swag. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, sorry. Let's not do like, that. considering the fact that, granted, he didn't face as good a Tay Rock as Daylight did, but unlike Daylight, Mook did kill Tay Rock. That was yeah. a body bag. That was definitely a body yeah, bag. Yeah, Mook did him pretty. It, it, it wasn't a body bag. bag. That definitely. Mook it it works as a narrative, but it didn't happen like that. Nah, it ain't gonna be that though. It for, works as a narrative. That's you know, a, for Mook to return after a, you know, what I'm saying a significant amount of time not doing any like one on one battles. We haven't seen him since Verb, right? Like, right. Yeah, this, yeah, I thought so that return was incredible. Oh, now and really then we also have the, uh, battle. the uh, video battle. Remember? Yeah, against Street Hymns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah but that doesn't count. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't know who Street Hymns knew yeah. who they were battling, so I don't yeah. count that. No, I think Mook knew he was battling Street Hymns. No, well, I don't think so. I I don't I know Hymns didn't know who he was battling, so. Yeah, that, that's uh, kind of messed up. So I'm gonna go murder Mook. Okay, swag. Who do you have? Uh, I got daylight. It's 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 pretty simple for me. I feel like <laughs> daylight faced a rock that would have beat literally anybody else on that card. Not Lux. Beat literally anybody else on that card. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> and for <laughs> and for him to be able to um like 30 that rock like there's no argument for a round for rock i don't think in my opinion and i'm a rock fan i'm rock fan like 360 and i can't like yeah, so is jc like i can't i Man, can't I so much <laughs> <laughs> why do you put every podcast <laughs> shut up so, god i hate songs 
God. <laughs> keep going. Keep going, Sway. Keep yeah, going. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think Daylight 30 would possibly could have been the best rock we've seen. So there's only one way to look at it. Like right. Daylight is the comeback rapper of the year. Yeah. Hot take sauce. Do you guys have anyone other than Daylight? Yeah. But hot take to you. Uh I mean I guess Haze. Uh, okay. I mean, I wish I knew, I had a, asked about the difference between the two like three hours ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My apologies. But my I, apologies. I'll take. Nah, it, it's cool. Uh, that's that's go. I'm just gonna go ahead and take blame for that one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Hayes the Family Man again. Like, okay. And Hayes, right. Hayes, Hayes is uh, think, gonna sweep all the awards. I, for well, it looks like. It's it's kind of like this, right? Mook battled last year. Daylight battled last year. Hayes hasn't battled in like eight. Sure. Eight mm, no, okay. no, because he battled. He's battled an RBE. Because he was on the RBE card that JC faced Big Cannon, if I'm correct. And that was uh, around 2015, I think. Was right, I about to hear Yusuf say shut up? All right, but he's been he's been nope. away for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. if we're gonna if we're gonna be having people count as a comeback, they should have not had a battle in a year, like, a, in a in, in a in, lot. In a <laughs> That's so fair. only issue I have with that: we haven't had many people who fit that criteria. Uh, yeah. I, boom. <laughs> Yeah, Adi uh, Boom, Daylight. Oh, I said Adi Boom. Oh, Lady Luck. Lady Luck, I guess, too. Adi Boom is champion of the year, man. Let's not do this. Okay. To yeah, the my, Adi, Boom Adi, Boom counts, Adi, ba- Adi Boom counts as a comeback battler of the year, but not as most improved. He's a champion. <laughs> Adi Boom is the champion of the year to the PD. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Wow. That's oh, foul. Adi, Adi Boom was the champion of the interrogation room. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, okay. you better uh, wait. He's not from Brooklyn, is he? No, mm-hmm. he moves from uh, Jersey. Jersey. Uh-huh. Is it my turn? Yes, go ahead, Sauce. When you dead, the headline gonna be reading murder. No, come read. on, bro. <laughs> I got read dollars. <laughs> but wait a second, he battled recently. He was on volume six. Okay, okay, okay. Here's my here's my reason. volume five. Here's my reason. Here's my reason. I think so. There's. I feel like while there are, because I feel like the. The criteria for comeback battle is kind of murky with this. So my reasoning for Reed is because we've seen, like, obviously we've seen him, you know, at least once a year since he came back versus John John. But I think his break, his coming out party, pause if necessary, his coming out party <laughs> is against Nitty this year. Like, I think, yeah, he was good against all these other guys, but this performance against Nitty is like okay, Reed. Reed's here to stay, and then he I, retired right after, so he's not here to stay. No, he's gonna battle Mook, and it's gonna be fire. Is he Good actually? Or are we just? Is that I just? Want, I want to. I want it. I want to. He's it. trying. Yeah. He's trying to will it into existence. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Manifestation. No, I'm with sauce. I'm with sauce. I want that. And I like. I, 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 I told. No, I, I told. I told Yusuf this like, I don't know, maybe like a couple hours ago. I've never in a million three years would think I would have wanted Reed Dollars versus Murder Mook, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I really want that. Battle. And in all eras of battle rap, it is 2020 that we are wanting this battle. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not fucking 2005. That's insane. It's 2020. I didn't even think about that part. <laughs> Read <and> murder. <laughs> I'm mad you said that bar already, so I'm really mad you said that. I know, I know why. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> the shoulder to Beretta is a Brambo. Yeah. That's a fire. That was a fire bar. It's a fire yeah. slogan. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so. I mean, you could argue that Reed had the upset of the year because, again, Rum Nitty. Yeah. I mean, Rum Nitty is Rum Nitty, and like, just yeah, like, you never, man. I don't think we thought Reed Dial is on what was that Summer Madness ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah we mentioned that the- before. Uh, Nitty has taken two losses this year, and one of them he had no business taking. Reed Dollars. Yeah, like yeah, because the, yeah, the, the beat out loss, like it's beat out, I, and yeah. yeah. But like Reed. Yeah, well, huh? Yeah, Reed did his thing. And we'll talk about Rum Nitty, Rum Nitty I think, a little bit later. But yeah. uh, just to run down the comeback battle of the year, Swag and I both had Daylight. Uh, Mook had, or uh, Yusuf okay. had Mook. 
uh, Hot Take Royalty had uh, Hayes the Family Man, and then Sauce had Reed Dallas. Let's move Great. on to the next uh, next category. Let's go to. I'll give it to Mike P. Second for Danny, but again, Rock took the second and third from Geechee, but I really don't care because it's just those. It's just one of those rounds where like. Like in battle rap, in battle rap, everything just stands still during certain rounds, and I feel like that's one of those rounds. Got a lot of but, other but Danny, uh, but, uh, but Danny, but again, shout out to Beatout's third or Saga's third versus Beatout because he said, "You went from running like Emmett Smith to preaching like em- preaching for Emmett Till." I'm like God, yeah. y'all, y'all know me as having some uh, unconventional opinions. Yeah. Oh, I'm interested to see what you got to say here. Uh, Kid Chaos is first round versus real sick. That's not, really? that's not unconventional. What the heck? Dude, what? what for round of the year? <laughs> that's unconventional. Yeah. Yes. What? What? How? Yes, that's unconventional. Are you kidding me? I feel like that's thought, the strongest. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought Hot Take, I thought hot take was going to say something like homeschool's like, third versus nonch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like, yeah, I know, like out. That has definitely to round of the year, honestly. Like <laughs> what? Like, like, it's, it's, a, yeah, like it's a it's a deconstruction of like real six whole style, like the entirety of battle rap as a whole, just yeah. in a single round as like a satirical kind of play, right? Hey, and, like shot. like I'm I'm here for all that theatrical shit. I'm here for the bullshit. Let me. But like, man, it's, it was it was constructed so well. I, I, it is to me round of the year. Like we yeah, got headshot. That's not that unconventional. I don't I don't see why someone's no, freaking out about that. <laughs> that was a really good round. He yeah, just made like, his Kid, Kid Chaos never sent off of that headshot merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> he had a better hot shot. He had a um, better bar, man. No, Yusuf, whatever. what do you got? Um, I'm again. I'm gonna go against the grain. Weird. I don't. I don't know why I'm saying this round because I do think that the Kid Chaos first is the best round of the year. I don't like the Danny Myers or Mike P round against Danny Myers, but you're I've a Danny fan. You're not supposed to. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the in my mouth. I'm gonna go with John John second against Chess. What? It gave me. It gave me the same vibes that I had when I watched that second against Jack Boy. I don't know. I was watching a man die, and I was. It's just my favorite <laughs> round this year. I'm not much. I was watching man die. That's crazy. I gotta yeah. that round. I, that I get it. Crazy. I get it. That was a crazy. I don't race. know, man. I mean, people. I feel like people were because the majority we didn't, but the majority of people had um, John John losing that battle going into it. I didn't. I didn't. Which I thought was Thank crazy. God. It's like, why would you think Chess would beat John John? I'm the youngest from New York. I had Chess did. Nah, man. So I got John John with the second round as a run of the year for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think one thing you got to take into account is that the Genesis crowd was, was absolutely, terrible. It was awful. The Genesis crowd was terrible. But during that round, it was during that round, and then I think T Top's second round against Arsenal. And they're they're cheering for Nidhi and Kichi too as well. I feel like yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think the, I think yeah, I think works. I think the John John and the T Top rounds. That's when those crowds. The crowd really up. came alive during that battle, or that's during the yeah. event. Yeah, that's, that's true. And yeah, I who, think that who is that's about to bring up the, who is about to bring up the T top round as about round of the year, huh? Guaranteed. No, 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 no. So, uh, <laughs> so okay. Tell me, tell me, tell Yes. Well, okay. Hold on. Well, I think <laughs> the T top. The hold on, hold on, hold on. The T top second round against Arsenal was a veteran move. It was fantastic. It was a complete display of professionalism. However. For as much as I love T Top, not the round of the year. But shout outs to him for for that. Um, my round of the year, if I had to culminate everything that Battle Rep is to a T, I would have to go with Oh I'm having an because I'm having second thoughts. I it's either Mike P's second against Danny Myers or it's Saga's third against B dot. It's those two are really close. Damn, I think. that's insane. How? Those, or, or the kid, man. I just, I, you know, I look at this list of the rounds that we're considering, and just, it's all so good. It, these are all yeah. classic rounds. I think so, I mean, throughout all the the crappy like battle rap stuff that's happened this year, we had some crazy rounds. Yeah, we yeah, have crazy moments nonetheless. I th- I think for this, I'm gonna go with the Saga's third against B dot. Okay. Because I think 
what it did. Well, first things first, you have the saga who had the performance of his whole career in that battle. He had the performance of his career and then went downhill. But but you're you're looking at B dot, someone who has been viewed as 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 just a powerhouse in in battle rap over the course of the last two years, really since his Emerson Kennedy performance. And even before then, really, but but you you take Saga and you have him break down B dot so well and expose not I mean not, I, you know exposing is kind of a cliche term at this point because I mean it's like it's not like Big K exposing uh, Adi Boom, which is another contender for round of the year. It's not like Big K exposing Adi Boom for you know something detrimental to society or the culture or whatever. But it's it's just breaking someone down in, in a in an expert way. So I'm gonna go with uh, with Saga third round against B dot. Um, I wanna I wanna touch on a couple of these other rounds too. Um, you've got B dot third against T top. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say like I'm yeah, go pop, ahead talk about it. Sauce. I'm a I'm a pop you then adopted daughter so she could raise up in a better household. Like, <laughs> bro, like yeah, there's he was a, like it was kind of like his Danny third actually. Where he would, but it was just from a different perspective, really. Instead of, you know, the man, like how he told Danny, you are about the battle rap, <laughs> pause if necessary, you are the battle rap nympho. He told, he wow. basically, yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you watch that battle, Yusuf. Uh, battle? And then uh, Danny versus T Top, or B, B Dot, excuse me. But, and then he broke down how T Top's uh, crack, selling crack to his mother affects him as a father that's just insane to me and also i want to uh, shine light on a uh, vixen second to dna yeah yeah shout out great, to, year. Um, great year for vixen too yeah. yeah shout out to saga's first two rounds versus mike p was that this year didn't he choke in both yes yeah <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, oh, right. right. <laughs> yeah back to Vic, back to Vic. so she said i'm gonna kidnap that little bitch got your daughter working in the kitchen a father's worst nightmare his daughter looking up to a vixen. Yeah, it's sitting over with the pole. Every yeah. father's worst nightmare is daughter looking up to a vixen. That shit was crazy. Yeah, like yeah, like, shout out to Vixen for that, and yeah, shout, shout out, out to B dot for the yeah. yeah, for both giving us just insane rounds full of quality. Uh, does yeah. anyone else have any other rounds they wanna they wanna highlight or touch on? Yeah, Twerk, um, Twerk's third versus Swamp. Uh, ten beds. Okay, we're we're. <laughs> Okay, we're talking about actual rounds here, Swag. Swag's oh, that, okay, hold rounds on. Let me, that are good. Let me stop joking for a second. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, so Daylight good. second versus Tayrod. Yeah, talk about it. All right. Honestly, one of my favorite rounds this year, this is a very, um, I think Kid Chaos first versus Danger Zone was one of Yeah, <laughs> I was going to mention that one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was incredible. Yeah. I just yeah. watched that before we started recording. Crazy. Yeah. No, that's crazy. 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 my favorite bar from the Put battle. Put five behind his ear like he trying to hit for something. <laughs> That shit was he crazy. Said, he said, he said, ha, 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 ha. Staying Stayin alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was insane. Shout out to that I battle. Mention, being good. Uh, Go ahead, Yusuf. I don't praise this guy often because I don't think he's very good. But I want to mention this round because I think it was godly. Kichigari's second round versus Tayrock. Or Tayrock. Kichigari's Twerk. second round versus Twerk. He was yeah. speaking to that man in a way I don't think Twerk wanted to be spoken you, to. That was painful to watch. You can't be a Paru Blood gang member when you're from the same hood as B Dot. <laughs> like, <laughs> what I don't understand is how he got booed in that round. Because he really? was speaking some okay. insane. Yeah. Like, he was getting that. booed in that second round. He was. Even though that was the most godly round of that battle. Yeah. But, uh, uh, that, was, that was the angle where. Uh, about Kichi the game, went though. at twerk for being blood, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. shout out to the um to the fourth round of Sharon versus Chef Trez. That was, oh, that was that round was yeah. incredible. Yeah, like mm, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. That was, shout that, out that, to Frack second versus Diz. Facts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> not dead, but like I mean, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. That shout out. Out. Like that moment literally went viral. Like it did. Like That's like viral, one. viral, not just like battle rap viral. We're uh, I also want to shout out. Um, you know, I I did I wasn't really a big fan of this event as a whole, and this battle didn't live up all the way to my expectations. But Chilla's third versus uh, uh, B dot. Yeah, that round was incredible. Yeah, yeah, shout out to B dot third versus Chilla. So, does that mean you rewatched it recently? No, I just sat down and thought about it. 
Got Shout you, out got to B Dot's third versus Chilla. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Okay, and we're B-Dot reaching B-Dot a little bit here. So yeah, B Dot two one. Don't play with me. I want to uh, let's talk about real quickly the big K Adi boom. <laughs> you know, did, you know, I, I mean, I mean, like, that's no, he's right. And he, big K, no, he's right. No, absolutely. I'm just, oh, I get it. But the round was terrible. What do you mean? He spent, and I, he spent okay. like 45 so seconds in a round. Um, okay, bro, I'm gonna cut you off. No, um, no, he spent 45 seconds in a round giving out paperwork. All he did was talk about, like, it wasn't a structured round in the sense of. Like he was punching and like ang- like the angle was like that. It was a round in the case of he showed paperwork and proved that the guy snitched, said it multiple times, and it proved out to be true. It wasn't well crafted. It wasn't okay. I, I I I I get it because Diz against Arcane had the same issue in the in their in their chain battle. Diz had proof that Arcane used Ghost Riders to win you know the Grand Prix the first time he won it. Right. So I can see where swag is coming from. However, I think just you don't need much with a round like this. Like as somebody we've talked to, like, I think it was uh, Mike that said it. Uh, he could have gone one fish, two fish in that round, and he would have still won that round. <laughs> he definitely could have. <laughs> he could have really said that. So, yeah. So he I did it, but he did it though. He did it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, let's make that clear. He didn't do Ultimately, that. I still think it's one of the best rounds of this year just because of the impact. Impact alone, it has yeah. to get there. Only off impact. I agree with that statement, but I, I agree with swag mostly. It wasn't no, so, wait, I, so I agree too. By that knowledge, does it matter how good Ace on Mean's round is against Ty Pretty or whoever that guy is? I heard it wasn't a good round, but. Yeah, a lot of people were saying it wasn't a good round either. But he had it, like one bar I had liked out of it. This but, this dude this dude didn't they say this dude admitted to being a, whatever he did? I'm not I'm not gonna say it out loud, but like he did whatever he said he did. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. insane. That's what he said. Why are we why is it still on battle rap? I don't know. I don't know battle why rap. he thought that that was a thing that he could come back to battle rap like that, but like so what my point being is if the angle is strong enough, like as in the big K Adi Boom snitch thing, or Ace, I mean, exposing this dude. Does that make the round fire in terms of impact, even if the bars aren't there? Because that's what I I don't think the bars were there in um, Big K's round. I think it's hard to ignore the impact. On principle, yeah. Oh, wait, I mean, the, wait, his wait. career is over, so I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's true. Both um, of their careers so, are virtually over. Go ahead. Yeah. So let's run through. Uh, let's run through who we had for round of the year. We got. Swag and Sauce both had Mike P second versus Danny. Hot Take had Kid Chaos his first against Real Seek. Yusuf had John John second versus Chess, and then I had Saga's third against B Dot. Let's. Oh yeah, uh, and I, w- I want to give one more shout out to Daylight's uh, third versus Rock, which I think was yes. better than his second. Mm. I think. Are we giving th- that third was okay. hilarious? No, because my reasoning is, I think if I, and I've I've said this, too, I think I, most people in this panel could agree with me. Uh, I've been saying that I think Daylight's main issue is that he does not write tailor-made content for his opponents outside of just name flips. So the fact that he is able to take, the fact that he was able to angle against Rock and do it in a funny way with an angle that has been used so much recently, I think it shows just clever writing by Daylight. Like that whole, hmm, it all makes sense. I think it's just one of the funniest things this year. (laughs) I yeah. Think, um. So, how do we rank um Mook's third versus Tay Rock in terms of that? Then I it was just rank more than high. But I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't even argue it was top twenty rounds of the year for Mook's yeah. third. I just think the shockingness of that performance, mixed with the fact that he caught a body, you know, I give that a lot of praise. I just wouldn't rank it high. Yeah, I don't think it's one of the best rounds of the year. I think it's just a really damning round, assuming it's all true because we we still don't know. <laughs> If it's true, yeah, yeah that's true. Right. So, how much, how much right. of a narrative being true matters in battle rap? Uh, Depends on the angle. Yeah, because I don't believe at all T top second against Romniti, but that round was still you hilarious. Third. You mean you third? I mean? Yeah, third, third. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I believe the Walmart thing, but whatever, it was hilarious. Maybe <laughs> yeah. believe it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And I don't know. I mean, Murder Mook doesn't seem the type to swear to God on his dead mother's soul, but he swore to God on his dead mother's soul that he heard all that stuff. It's yeah, true. but then he didn't drop the audio. Yeah, that's and that's like that's that's that, that's what makes it ambiguous, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's move forward then. We'll start. We got, I think, probably the three big categories that uh, we've done a lot of discussion on. We might have a lot of different opinions on. We'll start with rookie of the year. So we had at least 16 rookies come in for this rookie class. We've talked about it, how absolutely strong this rookie class is. A lot of different contenders and um, guys with high ceilings. Uh, let's start with Hot Take. Who do you have for your Rookie of the Year? All right. So you could probably guess. It's uh, it's Kid Chaos. Uh, I don't. Th- I think uh, if Jay the Nightwing had a stronger performance versus Fonz and uh, Shug, then yeah, he probably would be up there. But like, regardless of how good. Jay was during the tournament. Kid Chaos had more people talking about him because of uh, what he's done, like with the battles that he had. Uh, I think he has a little bit more stock to his name just off of that. Not saying that, like, uh, I mean, Jay the Nightwing is probably second on my list. Uh, I got easy to block Captain third just because, like, there is not a single reason. Any of us would be out here calling each other dickheads unless he's a black captain. <laughs> Facts. I call y'all dickheads but, anyway, so. <laughs> nah, but I think, uh, I, yeah, Kid Chaos gets uh, my rookie of the year vote. Just a sure. really, really strong year for him. So yeah. I want to echo that Yusuf. real quick. Yusuf, yeah. go ahead. So mine is also Kid Chaos. I think he has the strongest <laughs> argument for a round of the year as a rookie. The Mike P1. I get might be as strong. I don't know. It's not same ballpark, but the you know the default round was just incredible. It was one of the most impactful things I've seen all year. And you know what he's done, uh, like with the round. I don't think I've heard a bad round from him. I thought all three of his rounds against Lucasio were fire. That Dukes was up line was incredible. I thought you know his rounds against JC were incredible. I thought his rounds versus Danger were fire. I've been incredibly impressed with um, Kid Chaos nonstop. Other battlers have found ways to sort of not live up to what they could have done. I'll say that. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to go KKS as Rookie of the Year. Swag, who do you have? Rubendo. Oh, Swag's on mute. I don't know what's going on there. but Oh, go- I, I thought I was muting. I thought I was unmuting myself. I was muting myself. I'm completely smart. Um... <laughs> I got Rubando. No, oh my God. Oh, I, got, uh, <laughs> I had to make the joke. I got K Chaos. K Chaos has been very impressive the entire year, even though he got first rounded in Ultimate Madness. Mm-hmm. But he's like the showings he's got since then. JC, I thought he did really good versus JC. He was really good versus Danger Zone, real sick. Um, I, I heard he 30'd Saga. Yeah. So. We also heard that Saga choked two rounds, so that was awesome. <laughs> Man, yeah, what? shout out to Saga. But um, no. shout out to Saga for for walking into twenty twenty the best horseman, then walking out twenty twenty the worst one. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that is hilariously factual. Yeah. Shout out to Saga's win loss ratio. Um, yeah. but yeah, Kid Chaos is undeniably the rookie of the year. Sauce, do you have Kid Chaos or do you have someone else? Do you want my biased answer or my unbiased answer? Tell me what you think. Uh, uh, my biased answer is Jay because you know Washington, you know. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but no, nah, it's hard to. It's like it's chaos. Like, as much as I like Jay and stuff, I think Jay is easily second place right now. I think mm-hmm. chaos is just he's unbelievable. And uh, I'm gonna just, just hot take, hot take alert. Um, I, I said this earlier. I said this after the Danger Zone battle dropped. But in terms of just style of how he was rapping. In that battle, I guess Danger Zone, I guess in general, all of his battles, I get heavy gray hoodie Lux vibes. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like With just the way praise. I feel he, that. I feel that. Yeah, just because just, yeah, yeah, just the way he like the the way he packages his material, and it's just so dense. And it's not like it's angles because he's ta- like he's tailor making his material for his opponent. Like for Danger Zone, he had the fucking you have peaked scheme, which I thought was insane. 
And so he just packages his material so well. And like, like I said, I love Jay. I think Jay is easily second with, with like how hot takes. I think the order is KC, Jay, easy. So I don't know. Chaos has just been incredible all year. I, You're I giving think... Casey J rookie of the. No, I'm just. <laughs> Man, I'm fucking. That's hilarious. That's Chaos is old KCJ's danger. Shot, you know, a revolve. Chaos always got to revolve around danger. Like, yeah. Chaos was wilding. Yeah, Casey. No, Casey J. Shout out to Casey J for having a good year too. True. Um, very, very yeah, much. Necessary. First person to beat. First person to beat Swamp on a URL. <laughs> and, uh, okay, now uh, yes, yeah, so I've I've chaos. Also, I want to ask a question, but we'll do that. I'll ask after Hula. Daytons. Yeah, um, uh, I I'm also gonna go with Kid Chaos as well. Mm. So that's my rookie of the year. He's so creative, um, an excellent performer, and I'm really excited to see what he does with uh, the rest of his career, really, and heading into next year and what we see from him. I think he has the highest <laughs> ceiling of anybody in this rookie class. I think Jay the Nightwing also had a spectacular year. Um, real seek as well. I think he really showed out. He had a great performance against Chilla Jones on band. Uh, really, really strong, um, really strong looks for him all around. Um, and then easy, the block captain as well. Um, I think those four guys have the highest ceiling of this class. And then I think we can also give a quick shout out to Fonz as well, not only for winning the tournament, but also um, having a really great battle apparently behind the scenes against Fonz or uh, not, sorry, not Fonz battling Fonz, Fonz battling Av. Pardon. Um, he had a really apparently a great battle against Av as well. Um, so rookie of the year uh, again. These rookies really strong. Uh, Kid Chaos sweeps our rookie of the year pick. Um, I also, think. Oh, go ahead. Di- sorry, I think it's disappointing that Fonz mm-hmm. isn't the pick here. Because Fonz uh, had everything that no, and this isn't like saying that our picks that me saying the picks. I feel like Fonz didn't capitalize. No, he, uh, here's he, my here's my thing uh, with that because I I've mentioned this before to other people. Fonz said that his brother was killed. Like, oh, at, oh, that's my why bad. He, that's why he, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, that's good. Oh, that's why he didn't battle because him and uh, him and I was supposed to go down in September. And uh, my, my question actually was about Fonz. Was that if you know, you know, rest in peace, his brother, you know, all my condolences. Um, if this doesn't happen, do you think Fonz, do you think, uh, how, how do I word this? Do you think Fonz would be higher on this list? Yeah, no. All right, go ahead, Swag. I think, um, not, not, I'm just saying, not winning, but it's higher on the list in general. I'm saying, yeah, I it's think higher, yeah, not winning. Just higher on the list. Yeah, he's definitely uh, he, be higher on the he's list. He's arguably fifth or sixth on this list when he could have been second or third, maybe. I'd argue he is third. So for me, no. Who do you I think is... Uh, who, wait, so how would you order it? I have Kid Chaos, Real Seek, and then Fonz. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Not Jay the Nightwing? No. Uh, Jay's impressive. He had some crazy rounds, some, you know crazy lines this year but i can't take away from the fact that he didn't win ultimate madness like it's only so far that i can discount fonds and that's where it stops for me like real seek had a round of the year the two people above him have round of the year candidates which are really hard to deny jay didn't neither did fonds but fonds did beat jay for the tournament win so i would put fonds right there sure understandable um Let's, uh, if anyone, if anyone else has anything to say on these rookies. It's just a strong class overall. I think it's just, yeah. I'm really happy with how strong the class is. Let's move praise. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. A little bit more. <laughs> it's a little bit more. It's weird to say praise him more. It's weird to praise him. Go ahead. Nope. Apparently. Okay. No. Yusuf? Nah, he done praising him. Okay, all right. Praises. All praises. My bad, my bad, my bad. So listen, the first thing I want to point out is that the fact that this is the first person we've all agreed on in, like, this podcast period. It's the first time we've all agreed on one thing. Yeah. And then secondly, he, I think Jake is the most main stage potential, but Kid Chaos is the most top tier killer potential. Because I want to see him against some of the best, like, Herbie Dot. I want to see him against Chilla Jones. I want to see those, like, 
as soon as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think he yeah, for sure yeah. like all those pen wise. Yeah. I don't know what the better up experience is gonna, you know what I'm saying, look like when he faces those people if he does, but pen wise, nah, he's incredible. Yeah, and yeah, shout out to Seek as well, you know, or Sick as well. For having a, a great year and having like an arguably arguable top five battle with, you know, Chili Jones. Uh, my only issue with Seek is that I think he's 0 3 this year. Oh, what? Right, so he beat Magic. He could be, yeah. He beat Magic, so. Well, we haven't seen the battle, but so I assume. 1 and 4. Yeah, so 1 and 4. Yeah. But no, nah, I mean, Real Seek has been nothing but incredible this year. I just have to. I'm, I'm in the camp that believes that wins and losses do matter. <laughs> to an extent. I think they do as well. No, um, I want them. I want them to matter, but they don't. <laughs> so <there's that. laughs> let's uh, let's move forward to our battle of the year uh, pick, and I'll start us off. Um, my battle of the year. We've got a lot of really great battles. I know we're kind of looking at this as a down year for battle rap, but there's a lot to look at here. Um, and f- for the sole purpose of replayability value, and Looking at this battle, it makes me want to write more and strengthen my craft. And and it's just no, 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 like, like, it's it's, (laughs) it's, it's, no, it's it's just I I look at this and I think, golly, I need to I need to work. I feel like I know what it is. It's daylight versus Tay Rock. It's daylight versus Tay Rock. I was wrong, actually. They're gonna be that in T Tub. Oh, no, 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 it's it's daylight versus Tay Rock. I listen to both of their rounds really, and I just think about how creative. Daylight isn't. You can only do so many rock flips and how original most of them or all of them were and his scheming and the way that he made schemes so approachable and and interesting and then just painting a picture overall. Um, And then Tayrock battled as well and and we thought Tayrock was going to die, but he held his own. Um, So that's my pick for Battle of the Year. Yeah, I I agree with Hula on that one. Okay, I mean, the, the there are maybe two arguments we could have as far as like other battle other battles for it, and it's also I'm guessing one of y'all is probably going to say uh, Mook versus Rock. No, I'm not. No, but I do have a different one that I want to mention. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. Well, uh, <laughs> ignore me then. Uh, <laughs> Uh, who wants? Who wants to go next? Uh, oh, I'll go next. Uh, so I think the best battle would be Daylight and Tay Rock, if not beat on T Top. But my favorite battle this year, uh, unconventional pick. I'm gonna go Jerry West versus John John the Don. It was a fire, you know. That was a good battle. Let's tap them. You gonna see three of me. You better hit the right hit the one. The right one. That bar specifically. <laughs> <laughs> they were incredible. You know, I really liked that that battle. I liked the rounds from both of them. I liked the approaches taken. John John was, you know, what I'm saying, I thought Jerry was gonna die, like before the battle, because John John's so good against that tier of battlers, and he didn't. And I thought Jerry during the battle was gonna punch John John's head off, and he didn't. And it wasn't because either of them didn't do what they're supposed to do. They were both they both doing what they do at a high to. level. It just it canceled each other out low key. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, all right. Um, my yeah. pick is nothing that's even on our little short list here. Yeah, mine's not uh, either. But we'll see if we have the same. Uh, okay. I got the two on two between Beat Out and Geechee and um. Oh, we all got different. We all got different choices. <laughs> yeah. That's my choice. I Except think for me and Hula. Yeah. I think that that was a really good battle and it was thoroughly entertaining. I watched that like multiple times. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll tell them, I'll send mine and then I'll ask a question. Mine's okay. Alvida and uh, Saga, actually. I think, and here's my thing. Really? Uh, with, the, with Daylight Rock, and I know, I, I think I've said this before. I don't know if I said it on the podcast. I think that while Rock was good, I didn't feel anything different than any other rock performance I would watch. Because I feel like he didn't really do anything different other than just day and light flips. So I, it's hard for me to give that battle battle of the year. And my reasoning for Beat on Saga is I think like not only is this Saga's this is Saga like this is the fight of Saga's life in terms of, in that he this is his by far his best performance ever. Absolutely. Yeah and I don't think that's I don't think any of any of us would question that. And mm-hmm. I think B dot knowing he comes in as the favorite still fights, like he he doesn't he doesn't like he doesn't like put his break off the gas at all, and I think it's just six rounds of just 
incredible material packaged and that is tailor made each each round is tailor made for the opponent which you i think, think is something missing in battle rap because the six rounds thing is the only part i don't know if i agree with i don't i like their seconds but b dot's first was godly saga's third was godly and i guess both their seconds were okay but i think that just leaves like two extra rounds not really to sleep home about i i, I I get that, but I also feel like you could make that. I feel like the same way with, say, Jerry West and John. John, I wasn't really like outside of Rock's first. I wasn't really a big fan of Rock's. Like his second and third mm. were good, but there were nothing to write home about. And like like I said before, I wasn't really insanely impressed by Rock's performance just based on the fact he didn't really change anything. Like yeah, like on first watch, <laughs> I would on first watch I would have said Daylight Rock, but the more watches I give it, the less. Intrigued dying by the battle, if you know what I mean. I understand. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, uh, EK versus QP was this year, right? It was. That was yeah, a general. That was one of the ones I considered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I agree. That was a real. Uh, yeah, I want to also want to give a. This battle, I, I, I get if I get crazy looks for this battle, but I just love this battle so much because I just go, and it's not even the fact that it's a good back and forth because I think the winner thirty to the other guy like pretty clearly. But Calico Verb. <laughs> hey, I, think, I, know, I get I it, I, but I don't get it. You don't. I get it. Calico's three rounds for Verb are some of my favorite rounds this year. Because other than Ill Will, which happened two years ago, we very rarely get Calico in a small room where he can just rap. And uh, Calico is in my top three of battlers all time. So to hear Calico just be able to rap with barely no interruptions it's just it's just it's bliss at that point i just he just flows he just sounds like he's rapping on a beat and he just sounds so good you know what i mean no i know what you mean that's valid uh, it's 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 a dumb reasoning for a battle of the year choice but <laughs> it's it's my reasoning at the end of the day <laughs> I understand. I mean, <laughs> when I watch battles, I watch for like that entertainment factor. So, like yeah, my that... list of, my list of like what battles are, um, what are my battles of the year looks completely different to like anybody else's. Yeah, like, and also shout out to Trez and Sharon just for putting on for the culture. Yeah, that was fire. That's a yeah. fact. Yeah, um, shout out to Ill Will and Forty. No, I'm joking. Not that. <laughs> no, I, I do want to see. We I... we did skip this uh this one section we were gonna talk about. Uh, did you guys come up with a moment of the year? Yes, um, I really want to talk about mine. Do you want to talk about it right now? Let's go. I'll talk about mine also. But... Okay, okay. Uh... you go first, I'll take. Alright, so uh, in the KOTD tournament in the first <laughs> round um, Oh, hey, let's go. Look at that. Let's go. Diz versus Frack. Frack pulls graphs out of his pocket. Didn't, didn't he have a third one in the sock, apparently? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what the rumor was. That's uh, nice. But, I mean, Frag really shook a basement <laughs> just by pulling a graph out. He, of really, he, really, sh- he really shook Organic's basement. That's crazy. And, then, and yeah. then he brought the building down into the basement when he pulled out the second graph. Yeah. <laughs> that's insane. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Like, uh, I, I have to give that at least an honorable mention for moment of the year. Yeah. Uh yeah, so that could be up yeah, so uh Yusuf swag. What do you guys have a moment of the year? Swag you wanna go first? Or Redex? Is Swag here? Is this thing mute again? Alright, what's well, so up? So my moment of the year has to go to um JC versus O Red. Face off. A oh. hundred bullets! <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Bullets. <laughs> Who the fuck is a hundred bullets? <laughs> we <laughs> easily moment of the year, best moment this year. Oh, I didn't. Even... Oh man, I didn't even think of face offs. Oh you my can't goodness. even tell me otherwise. Who the fuck is a hundred bullets? I've been uh, asking myself that for the entire year. Okay, a hundred uh, bullets. If we're if we're doing like that, uh, uh, Luke Castro versus DNA. When Vixen kissed you, I was wild. <laughs> <laughs> same bro same. What, I think when he said that to, like DNA 30 them I don't think that's a question yeah DNA did 30 them as much as we make fun of DNA mm-hmm. uh, but, but 
Yeah, exactly. And Luke Castro's, but Luke Castro's rounds are just so much more entertaining than DNA's. But man, when he said when Vixen kissed you, I was wild jealous. He said that in the third round. Check the battle. I I, I just I I, could, I lost my mind. <laughs> I felt that. I did. Oh, she was too white. Gonna lie. Yeah, so I, like, uh, Vixen kissing you... DNA is a moment of the year. No, yeah, that, that's yeah. hilarious. Well, Swag, what's up? I, I think mom? Um, my moment is um, less of a funny moment, but um, I'm going with the same pick I had for round of the year. I think that was a moment in itself. Mm. Okay, so Mike P second. Yeah. Interesting. I'm out of that. Yeah, I mean you are because you're a Danny fan, but. Yeah, I am. I don't like that round, but I'm not supposed to like it. It's hard. It's hard, it's hard to I mean, deny it. I mean, but look, prepping for Danny, his whole catalog was under review. Oh my god! And all right, all right, all right. Solid Danon and realized he got nothing to prove. Fear voice to lion. What's next? All other people are right, I think uh, we've been we've been on this for an hour. I think we should probably get around to. Uh, or did we, did uh, we bar, do we want to do bar of the year champion? Yeah. Let's just do bar both. Let's just do both. Let's do both. Okay. Bar the At year. the same time. Yeah. Right. I hate sauce. Bar of the year. Let's get it. All right. Yeah, bar, like, yeah. bar of the right. year. Uh, I'll take. But, yeah, I'll go, I'll go first. Um, you are now witnessing a man go ape shit. I have reversed yeah. the Darwin. Jesus. <laughs> like, it's not even just that bar, but the build up to that bar yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's kind of, that that counts as a moment on its own to me but it is it's a matter of just like the he had just crazy momentum getting into that and then just dropped the voice down you are now witnessing a man go ape shit i have reversed the dog with oh. Y'all should hear me. Ah, yeah. My shit. I've rehearsed with caution. Clearly, you are now witnessing a man go ape shit. I have reversed the dark theory. Uh, that shit was crazy, yeah. man. No, shout out to his. Uh, I can even. I can even take rocks, paper, scissors. This gonna be hard to top. <laughs> and then getting it retweeted by Top Dog. <laughs> if you hoping to pull my Watts card, let's take it back before I became a pop star. I was big banging. Yeah, he was wilding. Battle. Yeah. Uh, Yusuf, I assume you have the same bar. Yeah, I mean, it's my. I think it's the best bar this year. I don't know how you can argue against that. Maybe actually, I think I will. <laughs> I think Mike P has a bar that can be argued against. But my favorite bar is gonna go to Reed Dollars, which you already mentioned. <laughs> uh, you see me execute Rex. Is Mook next? Proceed and further. When you dead, the headline gonna be Reed and Murder. <laughs> One of the hardest things I've heard in my life. I don't even know yeah. what's hard about it, but it's crazy. It's just, yeah. it's just read, read can rap. Read, and, read and murder. The thing and about I want to give. Uh, go ahead. Bye, bye, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. I want to give a special shout out to um Danny Myers. Uh, we on the roof. The loser had to jump. <sighs> Allegedly, Jesus. Allegedly, I'm gonna That's punch a wall. Bar. Terrible bar. It's a fire bar. It's not. But I'll let. Back to what I was saying. Uh, I didn't even say nothing. Back to um. <laughs> Back to actual bars that are good. Yeah, and back to... I'm glad that I picked this bar because you're going to hate it, Yusuf. But I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I think I know what you're going to say. I think I already know um, it. Nah, I, I think it's one of the bars from that round. I just What's love what? that round so much. Um, The Danny Mike... I mean, the Mike... Yeah, yeah. which bar I'm saying? Oh, uh, I think the one yeah, that... Oh, like, God. There's That's that, the but then there's also... You gave Rex 12K, but you should have 12 stepped you. What? 12 step. That shit was crazy. I think the hard nod won. Like, what is, like, what's a full bar swag? Uh, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> are, uh, are she, was she on heroin with the hard nods? Or did she, switch a, did she reach a higher level with pills? Was she, she a she bar nod? That's the no. one bar I think would probably beat Daylights for bar of the year, but I'm not going to no, say but the, the bar I'm about to say is uh, will beat. Cause there's, come on, guys. There's a lesson in every bar. Come on now. No. <laughs> there's a lesson. You know in every what? Bar. Yes. I, no, it. that's not the bar. That's not the. Bar. That's not my bar. I'm just no, saying. No, I, think, I think I know what you're about to say, though. Come on, just like put a Confederate flag in front of your trap house, and I ain't get raided once. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's insane. That's just like, fuck all, fuck wordplay, fuck name flips, fuck whatever. Right? This yeah. is just that real street shit that you just need in life, you know. Get, that we need in life, you say? Yeah, that we need in life. <laughs> I hate sauce. 
that like, bar was in, that bar was crazy. I feel like time stopped with that one bar alone. Honestly. Yeah, I, I remember. I, yeah, I fucking I had the Jay Black fucking bar face when I had when I heard that bar. Yo, same. And, like, and that entire third, he's just building and building and building, and it's just like he hits you with that, and, and it's the final bar too. Like, bro, <laughs> it's just it's it's easy. Shout out to Easy Man just for being incredible. I want to give some uh like a couple of um honorable mentions. Starting with Easy the Black Captain. Uh, you know, you nice, but I'm gonna let you live and keep your wife. That's two, That's two favors. favors. That shit was hard. Like, yeah. brought nah. me up at the same time the Motorola came, came out. out. I came back to the crib with, crib two, with two races. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit Easy. was hard. Easy's man. incredible. I also want to give a shout out to a uh, real six. Uh, how the fuck do the kingpin? When you make when you don't make royalties off your written <laughs> against That's Chilla Jones, insane. yeah. Like, uh, unironically, was... Danny Myers versus Twerk. You got everybody shaking hands during a pandemic. Oh, yeah, that was fire too. I thought you were gonna that say was... the allegedly bar again. I was gonna cry. And the allegedly bar. No. No. There's, there's a few bars that get uh, special. Yeah, there's some play. really yeah. And then Kid Chaos I... headshot five behind his five behind his ear like I'm trying to listen for some. Yeah, and I feel like that's that, yeah, that's insane too. And I feel like it would be remiss if I didn't mention it. like I, I know this isn't like gonna be a bar of the year people would talk about, but I just love this bar so much. Uh Rum, Rum Nitty said to Cortez, every bar got to spin to it like a volt door to the scoreboard. Warlord fucking with the kid is suicide. You ever seen a Tech Nom, Tech Nom four, four court? court? <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Yeah. I forgot he said it. Insane. Yeah, see, yeah. Like even when Nitty has down years, there's just there's certain gems you could just pick up, you know. There's one more. I don't know if I want to call this a bar of the year candidate, but I really like this bar from JC. Uh, against Kid Chaos, he said, "Um, and the thing I spoke on a drug rumor. I smoke battlers, you fucking goof. And none of you bitches dope. I couldn't smoke crack if I wanted to. <laughs> I thought that was hard. Yeah, uh, yeah. They're, they're, like, and yeah, battle reps. Yeah." I think these. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Yo, low key, we might be spoiled as battle rappers because when I was, when we were writing the list for battles this year. There's a lot of battles. That yeah, happened. we wrote how many? We wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We wrote fourteen battles that could have been potentially battle battle of the year, and these are battles that we didn't even, you know. Like there's more, I'm sure there's more battles we missed. You know. No, absolutely. And then the total battles is like. I think it was like sixty something. I have to go back and check. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like but, uh, of battles this year. Right. Y'all just want to hop into this champion of the year discussion? Yeah. Moving on, cause I'm getting hungry. I got it. <laughs> Wait. This ain't right, no discussion. This is easy. Yeah, I don't All know. Right. I, I want to make an argument for someone who's not. Okay, let's start it. Uh, uh, can I? Can, do you want to just start? You want to just bring up that person then? Let's do it. So, it's it has to be Chilla Jones, right? I have Chilla. No. <laughs> okay. Let's hear it. B dot. Okay. Uh, I, I don't. Um. I think we know what happened. Um. During uh, volume six, we know what the consensus the consensus is for that battle. However, it's very hard to deny what B dot was able to do this year. I think with the two on two being an amazing battle that he did at the beginning of the year, he put on he thirtyed Rum Nitty in the yeah, beginning of the year before that's Rum Nitty. Crazy. Well, no, true. before Rum Nitty was washed for the year. He 30 Nitty, right? Yeah. He beat, um, well, he had a really good battle, debate, another debatable battle, two debatable battle of the years with B-Dot and, um, B-Dot and Saga and the two-on-two, two, right? And then he, uh, he did Summer Madness and the, uh, he 30 T-Top, like, that's consensus, or is it 2-1? Uh, the, the first is debatable, no, I think. Two, uh, 30. Yeah, but the first, I think, is debatable. I have it 30. So yeah, I have it 30. He, he did really good. Then he beat Holmesy. And then we know he um his chiller performance wasn't as good as he can, but I think people sleep on his round his third round of that battle. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion. But I also I don't think Chilla's done what B Dot's done this year. What was okay. uh, what has Chilla's resume been? So he had Torque in the beginning. Yeah. He had Geechee. Geechee. Then he had sick. Yeah, uh, real sick, and then real sick. Um, B -Dot. B -Dot. No, Wes. Oh, Jerry. Oh, yeah, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. So they had five battles. Yeah, and, and then B -Dot, B Dot had the two on two. B Dot had Saga. B Dot had T Top. 
he had Holmesy, and then he had Chilla. Chilla at the end. But he also, he also had Nitty. And he had Nitty, so six battles. So he had one more battle. Two, two more battle of the year contenders. I think Chilla and Sick is a. Uh, Chilla and Sick can be argued as a battle of the year contender. I feel I like, like Chilla Jerry could be too. I don't think Chilla Jerry. Um, Chilla Jerry, I, 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 not me personally, but I can see the argument, I guess. Oh, there I go. But, but I respect it. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna argue no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to this argument specifically. So here's yeah, yeah. here's my issue. Do you want to go first, us? With uh, because I have Chilla as well. I have Chilla. Okay. Uh, uh, hot I, take. You want to go before we argue? Uh, nah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. My issue with that, I conceded that Geechee was 2019's champion of the year over Ill Will. My my main issue with it was that. You know, the first and second place people battled, and Ill Will clearly beat Geechee. But I thought yeah. Geechee still gets champion of the year off strength of schedule because his 2019 strength of schedule was insane, like more so yeah. than anybody else's. BDOT's this year, if it is stronger, and I don't think that it is, it's only marginally so. Um, So I have to look at, and I still count wins and losses, I have to look at wins and losses. I think Chill is 5 and 0. Oh, I think BDOT is 4 and 2. He shouldn't. Uh, I can't I think, discount the fact that he lost to Chilla. I don't, and I don't think I think if it's, it sounds like you're about to say he shouldn't have lost to Chilla because I have Chilla winning obviously the battle, no, and I'm Chilla. I was going to say that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What I don't know. What, I forgot what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought there, yeah. but no, yeah. I mean he lost to Chilla. I just I can't discount that. Yeah, and I think also I don't I don't even know if the strength because I don't think his I think well I do think Beatles schedule is slightly stronger due to having Nitty on the schedule. And even though it wasn't the best Nitty in the world, I, th- I still think Nitty on a normal day is still dangerous. Mm-hmm. I-, I do think that the strength schedule wasn't that strong to where we can ignore the record. Like even though you said you have Chilla five and zero, I have Chilla four and one, four and one because I have him losing to real we'll sick. I, yeah. I mean, I, so you said four uh, and two. Saga and Chilla Jones. And Saga was debatable, and Chilla Jones is personally for me. Chilla Jones is hard to debate. Well. For this, in this case, I'm going off of what the official consensus is, and you know, the overall votes went significantly but, towards Saga. And about, I think votes, the votes in the caffeine are yeah. I mean, didn't know. Well, actually, they have goods yeah, being yeah. Voted by like a twenty votes. So. Okay, but so they have goods. Like I feel like goods. So yeah, you're right. The, the app isn't yeah, that reliable. Clips, but clips is, no, I'm saying for you personally, I don't give a fuck what they think. Oh, for me, um, yeah, you. Doesn't matter. It, it factors in a little bit, but I feel like we got to talk about overall resumes and stuff. So you think the fact that they came in basically tied doesn't matter? Like it doesn't edge chill at all? Nah, I, I think the battle's important to me because like they're the two contenders. They just battled, so yeah, gotta hold some type of weight at least. But I think that um, seeing as the battle was like it was two one, it wasn't like it wasn't clear thirty or whatever. It's two one. So there's still room for argument with everything else in terms of resumes and stuff, in my opinion, of course. Okay, I get it. Uh, Yusuf, what were you gonna say? Who are you gonna bring up in the discussion? Um, I'll take you. Sure, you want to? Do you want to go first? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I want to mention Ilium William as okay. second, and maybe possibly the third. And my argument for is a little weird. So here's the thing, right? Yeah, not this year. It's the fact that he hasn't lost since 2018. He won okay. all his battles 2019, which made him the second place contender, mm-hmm. and he's won all those battles this year too. I, I think can't deny that momentum. Yeah, yeah, I think the issue with Will this year, like, because I have to look at this year because it's only it's only we're only looking at this year, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think the issue with Will is outside of John John and Danny, his strength of schedule isn't that. Great, like what Your Honor, Miss Miami, uh, 40 Cal. Like, who else has he battled this year other than those names and John John and, Il- and John John and Danny? And don't, don't get twisted, he 30 both of them, arguably. Mm-hmm. So, I think you know, he should be third, but I don't think he can go, I don't think he can go any higher than third, you know? Yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm gonna stick with second, but it's a, it's a stretch of an argument because it's. Like, oh, you think he's about beat up. because you said what you say he's about beat, beat up, yeah. But uh, but my reasoning for it is only off momentum for two, yeah. Because years. I, and yeah, we're I, to talk about this one year, yeah. Not, I don't think that, yeah, you can't, like, yeah, 
So I'll leave it yeah. there. The, uh, so that's so we have the top. So I think I think either way we have top three. The top three set, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's Chilla, Bira, Illwill. Who could we round out for the top five, if possible? I'd argue Jerry. Um, Do you think Jerry, the fact that Jerry has not won against the top tier at all this year does that matter? Do we count Danny as top tier? No, I don't. In that case, I guess it does matter. But he's been pretty. He's been really good in yeah. the battles that he lost. So, I do you think he's over a Shine or a Nitty or even a Big K? I would probably. I'd say Shine is four. Maybe. Dang. Yeah, I'd say Shine at four. Jerry at five. I, I, you know what? I'll take that back. I'm gonna go Jerry as four, Shine as five. Honestly, I'd put Shine at four, and then I'd put Nitty at five. I don't know how y'all you feel about that. I was I thinking think, Nitty would be a high. I think uh, outside of Nitty's two losses, which were uh, clear, obviously. I mean, he hasn't really lost this year outside of those. How is he? He's about, he because he had a he beat official. He he had a who else did he battle? He beat official, beat Cortez, beat Drugs. He beat C3. Beat C3. So that's four wins. And I think even though those are four wins he should have, I still think they're like this quality. I think they're still good wins. Okay. So it's really the argument, do you give more credit for Nitty beating guys below, people below him, or do you give John John, or not John John, do you give Jerry more credit for having good performances despite losing? What was that rhetorical or no? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, you can if you want. It's more rhetorical, so I'm just, it's like more of a, which one do you weigh more? Yeah, no, I got you. I mean, I'm just, I'm just really impressed with Jerry's performances, so I'm going to put him that high. Yeah, and I think Jerry will get more looks 2021. Plus the fact that, I mean, I'm sorry, like, I can't discount that loss to Reed, because he had no, it's the same way I look at the Twerk JC loss, like, he had no, no I think business that's, taking that loss. I think I think the read loss is actually worse than Twerk, JC losing the Twerk, but that's a different yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. It's just, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Certain battles, I don't think you should be losing. So you gotcha. losing them, I'm disappointed. All right, but you know, I'm gonna leave mine at there. Uh, All right. Plus of this, yeah. Like so was... take. Huh? Hot take. What? What? Do you have anything to say at all? Yeah. Not really. Really? Okay. All right. <laughs> Closing it out. All right. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, I think. I think we should probably round it out. So yeah, sounds good. Yeah, so, right. uh, yeah. So I just want to leave. I want to say this: Hula of Hula who, Hula had beat out, and then Hula also had, um, Day Rock, Day Rock, Daylight versus Tay Rock, as a battle of the year. Fire. So uh, I just want to thank y'all for coming in. I know this is kind of a weird episode. We have a smaller pa- podcast than usual, or panel than usual. Uh, you know, just thank you. Hope everybody's staying safe. Mask up. Everybody was scared to debate these topics. You weren't you mute the whole time? That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Not All right. Anything. All right. Whatever. That's true. Okay. Fair enough. And then, so, do y'all have anything you want to promote? Uh, no. Hot take just... swag. You said. Oh, I'm I'm good actually. Nah, I'm, I'm I'm good too. Okay. Uh, swag. You want to promote? Man, I, uh, my brain is not good right now. Tysx ASAP January 10, 2021. Young guy swag versus Promise Land. That's about it. We in yeah, the building. Yeah. All right. Be in the building for that. Uh, we got our slash resurrection. Uh, two two thirteen. Uh, Yusuf will be on the card as the main event versus Mister Opportunity. Uh, <laughs> say his name right. It's Opportune. This pause. I'm not saying. <laughs> I thought this was. So you're not yeah, gonna say what, his name right. So you're not right. gonna say his name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing Opportunistic. No, nah, Opportunistic versus Yusuf. Uh, Gemini, Gemini titles will be in the building. Uh, be in the building for that. It's gonna be a crazy event. I uh, just want to thank y'all for showing up. I uh, hope everybody has a good day.